Hey guys, my name is Andrew and welcome back to another video. Now that is right guys, welcome back to another brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you guys can boost your FPS right now, right here for absolutely free on any kind of PC. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys different ways, different methods, different tips that you guys can use on your PCs to enhance your gaming performance on your PCs. No matter what kind of PC you got, even if you've got like a 2080 Ti with an i9 processor, these tips will still guarantee you to have a better overall PC experience and a better gaming performance on any kind of PC, even if you have like some shitty ass laptop. But if you guys do these tips, and uh, everything I do in this video, if you guys do the same and you guys are still noticing lag, then I'm sorry, but you need to get a new computer because that shit potato, boys. <laughs> anyway, guys, without further ado, let's just jump on straight into the video. So the very first thing I recommend you doing is going over to your documents folder, going over to this PC and right click on your C drive. Then you wanna go over to properties. Now, once you come here, all you guys wanna do is hit on disk cleanup. Now, what this will do is obviously clean up your disk. So once you get to this page, just tick on all of the files and what this will do is clean up everything on the C drive. Very nice. If this will pop up, just hit on delete files. And as you can see, it's cleaning up the C drive. This will take very, very short time. As you guys can see, it's just cleaning up everything, all my temp files, all that good stuff. Uh, it's uh, cleaning up everything. Boom. As you guys can go, it is completely finished at the moment. You guys can also do the same thing on your D drive, depending on what, you know, what you're doing. See, I've got 6.63 terabytes. Just hit on disk cleanup. Same thing, just hit on everything you see. Boom, hit on OK. Delete files. And depending how much stuff you have on the hard drive that you selected to uh, clean up, it will take uh, a bit of time. Now, once you guys have finished cleaning up uh, your, your drivers, what I would recommend doing now is going over to the bottom left corner of your screen, over to the taskbar or pressing Windows key and R. And then what you guys want to do is type in uh, power. And then the very first thing you want to do is hit on enter. So hit on choose a power plan, hit on enter. Now, when you guys come over to the screen here, what you guys will see are two different options. Preferred plans, you have a balanced, recommended, or high performance. You guys can also uh, click on the show additional plans here. And you can also use Razor Cortex power plan too, which we'll talk about a little bit later on in the video. But for default, if you guys buy a brand new computer or build a brand new PC or a laptop, what you guys will see is that uh, on default, you will have balance automatically. What you want to do is hit on high performance. Now, I recommend you do this as soon as you buy a brand new computer like as soon as you get a new pc don't download anything don't do anything go in power options and type in uh oh not type in sorry click on a high performance this will just give you a better overall pc experience and will boost your frames insane i highly recommend you do this it will just boost your frames and it puts a lot more energy of your specs from your pc into the game itself and optimizes the cpu processes into the game which is freaking amazing now once you guys have finished doing this what you guys want to do is go search control panel and type in advanced system settings now once you guys do that just click on add a uh, view advanced system settings now once you're in here what you guys want to do is go to advanced go to performance and hit on settings under performance now what you guys come here you guys are going to see a screen that looks a bit like this power options what you guys want to do is hit on adjust for best performance which will in in just increase your performance insane like it's stupid how many more frames you'll get using these options or you can click on class uh, or you can click on custom and use these ones i've got ticked over here so i'll give you a minute to pause the video so pause the video copy everything i've got here and you guys are good to go now once you guys have finally finished doing that what you guys want to do is hit on okay and boom you guys are all ready to go now what you guys can do from here is you guys can go to system protection and uh, configure all these and make sure you have disable system protection you guys don't really need this but um what this is is if you want a um if you want to have something on your computer that's maybe 10 days old or 12 days old or if you want to go back kind of in time rather to say and have maybe an app or an application or some photos that you've missed out and you deleted but you had them 10 days ago you guys can actually use this but you don't really need it most of you guys don't really need it so make sure you guys click on the drive the particular drive configure disable system protection and hit on apply then hit on ok very very simple i recommend you doing this straight away as soon as you get a new computer Click on apply and once you guys are finished with system protection, go over to remote and uh, allow remote assistance computer on this computer. No, you don't, you guys don't really need this, so make sure this guy, this might be ticked on, on for default. So if you just ticked, make sure you guys tick it off, hit on apply, then okay. So once you guys have finally finished here in the system properties option, just hit on cancel and boom, you guys are finished over there with those settings. Now what you guys wanna do here 
is um just press Windows key and R and it should pop up with a run uh, file that looks like this. What you guys want to do is type in percent temp and then percent again and hit on enter. Now this will bring you up to all the temp files. Now as you can see I currently have like literally one temp file. That's because I've actually cleaned up my temp files recently. But I used to have a lot more like pages and tons and tons of temp files. What you guys want to do is you just want to hit on right click. Uh, and you want to delete all the temp files here. Now, as you can see, you might not be able to delete all your temp files because they may be in use in the background of your computer. Don't worry, that's pretty normal. Every happens to everyone, but if you guys have the same problem, don't worry because they will eventually go. Uh, that's a very good way. I had so many temp files and everything is so much more beautiful. Now, what I recommend you doing also is downloading a program called C Cleaner. What this program is, is it looks like this. I'll also leave the link in the description down below. Also, the website is right here too. As you guys can see, we have CCleaner. You guys can get the free version, which works just as good as the professional version. So I've only got the uh, free version. But as you guys can see, it does say $14, which is a bargain, I would say. Uh, you can get CC Cleaner for only $14, which I would highly recommend. But if you can't have, if you can't purchase it at the moment, definitely go for CC Cleaner free. It apps, it's uh, amazing, and it does the same thing as a professional. So C Cleaner basically is a is a, a software, is a program that actually analyzes your computer and cleans everything. So what you guys have to do is just jump over to the cleaner tab, uh, scroll through all these different options here, depending on what you want to get rid of, all the applications. And once you guys are happy with the finalizations of the run, just hit on analyze. And what's it going to do now is analyze your PC. Uh, if you have Google Chrome open or any other internet source, you guys will have to close it to um, get rid of all the caches for that software or for that Internet Explorer. For the moment, it's going to hear no because I've got Google Chrome open. And as you guys can see, here is all the files that it's found that I can delete which I'm going to hit on Run Cleaner, uh, yes, and the Internet Explorer run will come up again. As you can see, do you want CC Cleaner to close the window, uh, Google Chrome, I'm going to hit on no for the moment, but in your case, we'll hit on yes. And as you guys can see, it's clean, uh, 26 tracking files removed, and also 6.51 megabytes, megabytes of unnecessary files. 6.51 megabytes of unnecessary files have been removed from my computer, which is freaking insane. So once you guys have done that, that's going to definitely boost your computer up a hell of a lot. Now, one thing I highly recommend you doing is downloading a program called Razer Cortex. Now, if you haven't got Razer Cortex, I'll also leave a link in the description down below. Its website looks a bit like this. Now, if you already have some Razer keyboards or Razer accessories in your setup, such as a mice uh, or a keyboard, a mouse pad or a headset anything along those lines you guys will most likely already have this program but it's so easy to install so easy to download all you guys have to do is just hit on download and it's that simple and you guys are already easy to go i'm not going to download it for the moment i'm just going to hit on pause because i've already got razor cortex but anyway guys once you guys have finally finished installing razor cortex just open up razor cortex and as you can see it should look a bit like this now you guys will obviously have to create an account which is so simple to do it should only take you a few minutes but once you guys have finished making an account you should open up a page that looks a bit like this or a program that looks a bit like this you have different options you've got game booster system booster deals and rewards but in today's video we're just going to be looking at game boosters and system boosters now game boosters basically are so for instance as you can see on my desktop i've got minecraft league of legends all these different games here and as you can see on razor cortex i've got the same games also that i have on my desktop but if i open the games through razor cortex what this will actually do or what this actually means is that if i choose to run csgo through razor cortex basically it just turns off everything in the background and optimizes 100 of my computer's energy onto counter-strike global offensive which i think is freaking awesome so basically it's going to be using your whole gpu your whole cpu all your processors on to Counter-Strike Global Offensive or any game you choose and it's just going to basically shut down everything that it doesn't need to use and it just optimizes your whole build onto that specific game which boosts your frames insane. I used to get 150 frames on League of Legends and now I get up to 400 frames which is freaking stupid. You guys can also go on to boost and also you can also boost your uh, CPU cores, you know, all that good stuff. It also cleans your RAM. I highly recommend you clicking boost now before you uh, open up a game because it will uh, increase your frames magnificently. Also here we have FPS, uh, this doesn't do too much, this also this just shows your FPS so you can actually show your FPS overload while in game and you can actually choose where you want it on your screen which is very very nice and it's pretty good to have on your game just to know how many frames you're getting if you are interested in looking at that. Now also here we have System Booster which is freaking awesome. Here you have my rig which shows you my rigs. As you can see, I have a 1070 Ti with an i7-8700 processor. I will leave my uh, a video in the link in the description too of my build, my me building my PC. If you guys haven't checked that out, I recommend you guys go checking that out. But here we have Optimize. So basically, here is where the awesome part begins. Basically, this just boosts your whole system overall and just 
increases your Windows experience and your it just increases the speed and everything. So I'm just gonna hit on scan and boom. As you guys can see, it's doing a quick scan of my up, uh, of my overall PC. And as you guys can see, system clean. Keep your PC clean and fast. 22.4 megabytes of 1.2 gigabytes to be clean, which means I've got 1.2 gigabytes of data and 22.4 megabytes of that 1.2 uh, of that 1.2 gigabytes is actually you know rubbish that doesn't need to be on my computer. I have a one of one items to be optimized and I've also got defrag games and basically this means just to delete temp files all that good stuff. Now once you guys have finished scanning your system this is on optimize and what it's going to do is optimize your PC. So as you can see 70.7 kilobytes of disk space free uh, one item has been optimized and zero of nine games defrag. So basically that's a good way to do this you should go actually maybe do this at least once a week uh, I would recommend doing it definitely does help you guys out a lot. So link in the description down below if you guys would like to download Razer Cortex, which I highly recommend. But you guys most likely already have Razer Cortex if you guys have a Razer uh, mouse, keyboard, mousepad, or a Razer headset. Now, one more program I'm actually going to show you is called Quick CPU. Now, Quick CPU is basically a CPU program that actually allows you to see your temperature and all that good stuff. I'll leave a link in the description down below. The website is up here. Quick CPU. All you guys have to do to download the uh, program is scroll down all the way to the bottom and hit on Download Quick CPU. This will automatically download the most recent version of the program. Or you guys can just go download version 3.0.1.0. This is the most recent version. And what this program actually allows you to do is analyze your CPU's performance. So as you can see, my CPU temperature is currently 60 degrees, which is okay. I've currently got a stock cooler at the moment, so I'm definitely going to have to fix that up. But once you guys open up this website, you guys want to make sure that all your uh, CPU core frequencies and all that are on 100%. So make sure this is all on 100% and then hit on apply and you guys are ready to go. Very, 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 very nice. Now, once you guys have finished doing everything that I've showed you so far, what you guys want to do is go to your search, bra uh, search browser on the bottom left of your taskbar and type in MS config and hit on enter. Now once you get to this page, what you want to do is go to boot and then you guys will automatically have 30 seconds here on default if you haven't changed it. If you buy a new PC or build a new PC or get a new laptop, this will automatically be on 30 seconds for default on all Windows 10 operating systems. But what you guys want to do, just remove the zero and change it to three. This will do, what this will do is quickly launch your uh, operating system and just make everything a lot more faster and a better overall experience. So once you guys have finished with that, make sure you guys go over to services and hide, click on hide all Microsoft services. Now what this will do is that show you all the services that run in the background of your computer, which is, um, can be quite annoying at times. So what you guys want to do is hide all Microsoft services and basically untick the ones that you don't really need. You don't really need a lot of these things. As you can see, I've got a lot of things unticked by MSI for my drivers, my MSI uh, motherboard drivers. A lot of things actually were slowing down my computer. And as soon as I uh, ticked off a lot of these things, I actually my frames increased by like two, three hundred frames, which is freaking insane, guys. So anyway, guys, make sure you guys tick all that. You guys don't really need a lot of these things besides your GPU drivers, maybe those kind of things. But once you guys have finished unticking all that, just hit on apply and you guys are good to go. Once you guys have finished everything over at services, just go to startup and hit on open task manager. Now, this is very, very important here. So as you can see, look at all these programs I've got here. I used to have all these programs running in the back of my computer at once, which was slowing down my computer like a bitch. It's insane. But what you guys want to do is, as you can see, everything here is disabled. And it also shows you the startup impact. So it basically shows you how much energy usage it's using on your computer. So as you can see, everything was high. Make sure you guys disable everything. To disable, you guys have to do it see on right click. And well, obviously enable it if it's enabled. But if it's enabled, just right click here on disable and it will disable the program. And basically, what this means is that when you open up your computer it won't actually open up automatically if you want to use one of these programs you have to open up manually so that it's not actually running in the background of your computer and i highly recommend you do this as soon as you get a new computer so once you guys have finished uh, disabling all your background softwares just close that click on apply and then go to tools when you're over here go to uax settings change uax settings double click on that uh double click on that and then hit on launch and then what you guys want to do is make sure it might be on here or always notify. What you guys want to do is just drag that all the way down to the bottom. Make sure it's on never notify. Click on OK and then boom. What this actually does is that when you open up a new program as an administrator, if you hit on run as administrator, it actually opens up with that little option where you press yes or no. You guys don't really need this. It's a bit of a waste of uh, you know processing energy which your computer uses. So I recommend you tap turning that off straight away. Now, once you guys have finished with the UAC settings, the user account control settings, I recommend you go to system properties, double click on that and then hit on launch. Now, once you guys are here, 
uh, you guys are going to be able to see your uh, processors, your i7 processor, all that good stuff, your RAM. Just go to advanced system settings and uh, as you can see, oh, we already did this. <laughs> as you guys can see, make sure you guys configure this and then disable system protection, all that good stuff. And make sure you go to advanced performance and make sure you guys use these options here, which I definitely recommend you do that right now. So I'll pause the video and use these options. Hit on apply and then okay. So guys, anyway guys, this is how you guys can boost your frames on every single game on your PC. So I did hope this video did help you guys out. And if it did, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel and comment down below if this video did help you guys out or if you guys need any more help. As I said before, there's so many different ways that you guys can do to boost your FPS. So I hope you guys do enjoy this video. And if you guys would like me to make another video in the future on how to boost your FPS on any single game on your PC, let me know in the comment section down below because I'd be more than happy to help you guys out. Anyway guys, I hope you guys did like this video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Uh, like the video, comment down below. I hope you guys are having a beautiful day, guys. Like, subscribe, comment, and peace out.